Now, some of you out there may have heard of the group known as the Galactic Federation of Light. This Galactic Federation of Light is a belief in angels, aliens, archangels, ascended masters, lots of new age voodoo, basically. And the thing you notice if you go to their websites, there are many, many websites, is that very often they're asking for donations. And this is very common, very common within New Age beliefs. You know, various different organisations, various different groups, different names, same sort of setup. So called light workers. Look at light workers, go to the websites. You'll find on many of them, not all necessarily, but certainly many, many of the ones I've seen anyway, a donation button. And they might say, donation towards maintaining the website. So you, all you need is like a few decent donations a month and it's fully covered. Probably less than that. Where does the rest go? They also have different options on there, different things you can give your money towards. Such as, I don't know, educational programs. You know, spreading the knowledge and this kind of nonsense. And what are you giving your money towards? Them using your money to make more people give money, perhaps? Or them sustaining themselves as New Age experts and practitioners by doing practically nothing? That's not to mention that many of the people who run the websites and get the donations and live okay on the donations alone, in many cases, are also people who are practitioners in various New Age practices already, which can sustain them quite easily. Many of the gurus, obviously, go around doing lectures. So they're making good money. If it's just the lectures alone, or just the shop alone, or just the healing alone, or just doing readings on its own, or just the internet on its own, they'd be lucky to, you know, to tick over to have it actually working at all. But if you try and do as much as possible, then it works out well, doesn't it? Do some publicity videos online, you know, uh, try and have blogs, try and connect things together, try and cooperate more. Attention whore on the internet, that's always a good one. And you can live very well by basically being a, what, a, a quack? A, a bullshit artist, basically. You know, a great big bullshit sandwich. Well, yeah, basically, you know, if a person wanted to do that, well, you could do that. And by the way, you wouldn't be the first. And by the way, the ones doing it now wouldn't be the first. And by the way, the ones ten years ago would not be the first. It's easier to do. It's easy to manipulate people, mess with people's heads. And people think, hmm, m maybe this is a good cause. Give my money towards the Galactic Federation of Light because they're getting ready for the aliens to land. You know? It's basically a load of, well, <laughs> crap. People making money by telling stories. I thought we had science fiction writers for that, but apparently, you know, apparently this, this whole shebang as well. But what, what's your money actually going towards? You know, ask yourself that. Someone putting their hands on you or near you, or doing a light massage as a healing. A person cold reading, giving you a psychic reading. And, uh, you know, a variety of other nonsense. Pseudoscience as well, of course, you know. Taking scientific terms, added it into uh, mystical ideas of the chakras and other you know, magical concepts and saying it's a science. And then charging people more because, oh well, you have the science. People come to your lectures and you make money. And, yeah, you basically, you people giving your money out there, you basically give your money for nonsense, for quackery, pseudoscience, to feather the nest of a probable charlatan, or at the very least, a deluded individual. 